I found a corn! Here's an ear of corn! Whoa! Look at that pumpkin! A giant pumpkin! You guys can eat Uh, school gardens are something that uh, Slow Food internationally is looking at and supporting. So Slow Food Nova Scotia wanted to uh, have some part in the school garden at Dr. Arthur Hines that I was involved in. I get to cook. And I don't really get to cook at home, but mini pizzas and soup stuff. I'm hoping that they'll get that good food isn't that hard, you know, and go grab an apple or a baked potato instead of french fries or potato chips or stuff like that. And hopefully by the end of the year that they'll be choosing more because they're at an age where they can cook. The skills and knowledge of gardening and of producing healthy, simple meals has definitely been lost. So we formed a very close working relationship with Dr. Arthur Hines School and offer a wide range of programs um, that help the students and their families uh, support their own efforts to stay healthy. Uh, first we have people going through taking the weeds out and then we put down the various layers of manure and lime and then Dawn's going through with the uh, rototiller um, to till it up and then I rake it up into beds. So looking at the soil, doesn't it feel kind of neat to play with it and work with the soil? Yeah. What do you think is in this soil? I think it's a great experience for them to get to learn to how, how their food grows and, and how they can plant it and help take care of it themselves. I think it's a great experience. Which way is up and which way is down on that? The roots are going to come out of that part. Then when they come back in the fall, that's the funnest time because they see what has grown and they come out to the garden and are excited about the food that's there and how big the plants have grown. Oh! Pumpkin, I think it's a pumpkin. I think it's a pumpkin. I don't know where it was. Jimmy, I'm eating. It's a great start to the year when the kids can see that they go out into the garden and they harvest those vegetables and they turn it into lunch for the rest of the school. We need tomatoes, cucumbers, green peppers, onions, lettuce, and green beans. Pumpkin, squash, onions, and zucchini. That's a nice pepper. That is a turnip, eh? Zucchini. Grab this fresh basil too, okay? Ooh, this looks good. All right, if, uh, if you've got washed stuff, we'll head back on in. Uh, do we don't have washed stuff? We've already got a sink set up in there to wash the vegetables. Hot, hot, hot. We're going to switch those around and when they're cool, I want you to dump them back in this thing, okay? Wait about three or four minutes. Chef? Yep, that's for the salad, right? This is called feta cheese. Okay, it's just a different kind of cheese. They use this a lot in Greece, actually, and this is why this is called a Greek salad, because it's got some olives and a little bit of feta cheese, and this is made down in Aylesford in the valley, okay? So just crumble that whole thing in there. Yeah, the whole thing. Ooh, it smells like I don't know what. Lunch is at 12, right? That's one full up. The lunch that Michael Howell helps the children to uh, prepare is certainly a, a highlight of the year. It um, makes all the work that has gone before it um, rewarding. They've planted the garden, they've cared for the garden, now they've harvested the food and here's a beautiful meal that our special guests truly appreciate. What we eat is really important to us nowadays too. And if they can see from, from beginning to end the whole process, in a very short period of time, is a great result. And I think they, they, they take more of it away when they see the whole process. From, from dirt to mouth in two hours is, is amazing. This is good. It just, the flavor, I love it. I think that it's more healthier when it's grown in a garden than bought in a store. And that's good. It's healthy and it's slow food.